And Ed, we're in this new era of more communication coming out from the RBA. We'll have another news conference this afternoon with Michelle Bullock. You'd expect that to focus on, well, inflation, productivity, economic growth. Look, those, are, those are going to be the key themes. So today, for a, diff, for a change for once, we're in a different building as well. We're at 8 Chifley Square, which is one block away from the Martin Place headquarters. Uh, the RBA's old building is currently being renovated, so the board's going to be based out of here uh, for the foreseeable future. It might take a couple of years. Uh, but, yeah, the press conference today is at 3.30. Michelle Bullock, the governor of the RBA, I imagine it'll be very similar to last time. There'll be a question from every media outlet. And expect there to be plenty of questions around productivity growth, because that's been one of the big challenges facing our country. Country, uh, and we should get some sort of re uh, reaction from Governor Bullock around the low level of productivity in Australia and what it might mean for the upcoming federal budget, whether there's anything that the Reserve Bank would like to see the government do in the upcoming budget to kind of kickstart the economy. But another problem, Ash, has been those mortgage repayments for mortgage holders, and they've increased significantly after those 13 rate rises. We've got a quick chart we can show you just showing for a $500,000 loan, it's about $1,200 extra per month in additional repayments since rates began lift rising in May 2022. And obviously for a million dollar loan, double that amount, it's about $2,400 a month. So these are all big things that the RBA is expected to talk about this afternoon. And uh, it's a big challenge, not just for the Reserve Bank, uh, but for the government as well. Ed Boyd, thank you. And of course, we'll have full live coverage and analysis for you of that rates decision. It's coming up at 2.30 this afternoon, right here on Sky News.